Hey everybody, Jim Productions here. Now, this video isn't very usual, I guess, for a lot of you, and the reason for that is because for the past while, I've actually been developing my own narrow gauge Roblox game, and the main reason for that is because, honestly, I was just bored. So, um, this is more like a dev update and an invitation to come and help test the game, join the Discord server, all that stuff, and just really see how the game's coming along. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into some of the development that I've created. Now, before I start talking about my locomotives, uh, you should all know that they are two stud wide narrow gauge locomotives. And while I am American, I mean, that's pretty obvious. These are British, so I have four British st two stud wide locomotives. So the first one that we have on hand here is 571. It is based off the uh, Pannier tanks, like the 5700 the XX class. Very long and hard name. So, yep, that's 571 in a British rail blue with a red outline. Usually you can see that on, like, A4 Pacifics and such, or... Yeah, it's a Pacific. Now, 575 was uh, requested by a good friend of mine, J-Dragon Vala Master uh, V2, or just known as 40s. Some of you in the row racing scene might know him. Some, probably most, do not, though. And it is pretty much a BR green with gold accents, I think. Yep, gold accents. So, 575, beautiful locomotive. Now, there's 272, no, 227, my bad. That is an LNER styled locomotive. Uh, that's like a Peckett, or I, I think it's like a Peckett, I forget. I'll put it up on screen right now, what it is. And finally, a Cory Hunslet, the first of the actual narrow gauge locomotives, not normal standard gauge that was just converted to narrow gauge. Now, as you can see on the right side, that's my little, you know, Cory Hunslet called Jim. He's my own original character. Uh, I think he's pretty sweet. Now, the Cory Hunslet, since I made that recently it is my most detailed uh engine with like working pistons uh it's got headlights i think th though i added that to other things and a fully detailed interior so uh yeah and then next up we also have some rolling stock which i'll show in a minute now the rolling stock segment or in this case part two is not going to be long. The reason for that is because currently for rolling stock that is actually fully fleshed out, well, from what you see, there's only been, I believe, the flat wagon, a three plank wagon. So the flat the flat wagon is filled with boxes. The three plank is filled with coal. There's a slate wagon with, well, slate. There's a van, which is currently empty, but I'll probably also put in some boxes. And then I think there's like uh, a brake van and that is it. Now currently I am developing some open and closed coaches. Those are already done. I just need to refresh those a little bit. And then I'm also working on some bogey coaches which are giving me a little bit of trouble but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get it done and over with. Uh, so yeah, we'll go on to the next segment which is really just the, the the scenic views around this place. For the third part, which is scenery as you you've probably gotten used to this. So pretty much we have a few locations to show. Firstly, there is a, a, a mining quarry which I'll put up right up on the side there, which is still being developed, but that's where you can unload your slate wagons. The next thing is, I believe, it is the little overpass. It's just a nice little cozy bridge over some water. I like that a lot. Uh, it's a very good place to take photos. 
After that, it is a uh, bridge, so it's the track over the lower track where it says the uh, the whistle. That's leading up to the station, which I'll I will show now. It's a uh, pretty unfinished, but that's fine. It's still pretty much before even a beta demo alpha. This is still in the development stage. Now, after that, uh, I believe what we have next, oh, what is that? Let's take a look. The answer is that that is the Highland Railway Station. That is at the base of the mountain where you spawn at, and that is uh, where you can load and unload passengers. That's where you can spawn in some coaches, some uh, trucks, pretty much also your trains. You can also uh, use the turntable there which is shown in the next picture there. So, uh, yeah. Well, since you made it to the end, which it's only been six minutes, surprisingly, the simple answer is, well, Highland Railway still needs a ton of work. And if you want to, you can come and help. In the Discord server, well, you can submit trains, rolling stock, ideas, or even just come and hang out with me, and also some of the other devs. Now, there aren't too many people, but that's because Highland Railway technically hasn't been fully released yet. So, uh, yeah, you've seen mainly the scenery, rolling stock, some of the engines. I'll put a link to the server in the description, I'll, I'll also put a link to the uh, game in the description if you want to. So uh, yeah, I recommend joining both those things, and uh, yeah, have a good day everybody. Bye.